These fish are so bright you'd swear they came from salt water. If that's what you think, you're almost right. You are looking at something called a glowfish. In this case, the very common aquarium fish called a zebra danio, but in colors the world had never seen until just a few years ago. And then, in early 2012, a second species of glowfish became available at your local pet store. This time, it's a tetra. February 1st was the official release date of the electric green tetra. And uh, the glowfish electric green tetra is based on the very popular aquarium fish, the white skirt tetra. It's got the green fluorescent protein technology that the rest of the glowfish have. And as you can see, it's a very large, very impressive green fish. Uh, the pigmentation on these guys is spectacular. They're very, very evenly colored. The green even extends all the way into their fins. And uh, one of the nicest features, I think, is their eyes are very solid green as well. Beautiful fish and uh, already one of our fastest growing categories um, at Seagrass Farms. It's been an incredible seller for us. Mike Tucinardi is the marketing manager at Seagrass Farms, a large Florida-based wholesaler that supplies fish to pet shops. Also with these, they're a bit of a hardier fish and they're schooling peaceful fish. So they're better suited for beginner fish tanks, for maybe smaller fish tanks. Um, they do better in a general community if you wanted to have other fish with them. And of course they'll mix well with the Danios also. If you're wondering where those colors came from, you're not alone. And the answer will surprise you. Oh boy, it's very complicated science, but to boil it down, it's inserting a gene. And in the green, it's, the, it's a gene from a fluorescent jellyfish. They insert that gene into the embryo of these fish and it expresses in the pigment of the fish. So these fish, of course, they develop like this. It's not a process that has to be done to every single fish either. It's, these fish will breed and their offspring will be green like that also. So we produce these just like we do our white skirt tetras or black skirt tetras. They're farm raised here in Florida on our farms. And uh, it's, yeah, that, that's what the end result is. Perhaps the most interesting thing about glowfish is that they were born out of scientific research. Scientists at places like the Mayo Clinic and other universities are using them to try and find cures for cancer and other diseases. There's a lot of information and links to the medical research at their website, glowfish.com. So the only question left is, how do you best enjoy these fish in your home or business? With glowfish, it's a very different animal from the standard community aquarium. Uh, all the rules for community aquarium decor and setup do not apply for these. And what I recommend is a couple of things. Lighting, number one, is key. With these guys, you've got to work your lighting to make sure that you're highlighting the fish and not actually dimming that natural glow. So what we recommend is to use a blue light to make that uh, the color pop and fluoresce on these. Under blue lighting, and this is just uh, standard blue LED lighting provided by Marineland, these guys glow very, very nicely. When you put them under a white spectrum, such as the tanks above, you're not going to have that. It might actually subdue some of that natural green. So blue lighting is number one. Number two, in terms of decor, you want to have a very dark base gravel. And that's another thing, the tendency with glowfish is to put a very fluorescent, bright colored rock on the bottom of the tank, and that can actually overpower and take away from the color of the fish. So we recommend dark gravel, either a dark blue or black, and a, uh, a mix of small fluorescent stones if you want as accent pieces, but don't overdo it. And third, the plants. There are a number of plants commercially available that have colors that will accent the fish. Again, you don't want to go too bright, Fluorescent colored plants work really well. Anything that reflects and uh, fluoresces under that blue light will work really nicely with them. But under the proper display, these fish are stunning and really visually appealing. So it's important to display them properly to get the most out of them.